are you an online ESL teacher or want to be and you're curious about decorating for Christmas whether you should or should not decorate for Christmas stay tuned and I will share some of my tips that have been helpful in my online teaching experiences hello my name is Celeste and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here welcome it is so nice to meet you and I hope that you will consider clicking the subscription button below as well as the notification bell so you are notified of other videos I upload about my online teaching journey as well as my Etsy store and how I save money during this pandemic. So thank you so much for watching. I've been teaching online for over, well, close to four years. March of 2021 will be my fourth year. And I will have to say it's been very rewarding and exciting. And I've learned so much about different countries and cultures that um, I couldn't really fully understand and appreciate from a book that I read. And so uh, this year in 2020, as I'm recording this video, I've expanded my online teaching to three companies. Last year in 2019, I did have four companies at one time, but this year I've kind of pared it down to three that have really been consistent income for me. Now, last year I, I recorded a video about uh, my online uh, backdrop and how I use it for a reward system because two of my companies does require an additional reward system besides the one that um, they have on in their online platform and so I'm going to link that above and not talk about that right here but want to talk about some things that have occurred this year that might be helpful in um, those that are considering being an online teacher as well as those who are currently an online teacher. So I teach children basically on every continent except for Australia and Antarctica. This has been very exciting and um, being a world traveler and being born in a different country and then moving to the U.S. I really love learning about other countries that's been instilled in me from a very young age and so um, this year I have had an increase of students from the Middle East and if you know anything about the Middle East they don't celebrate Christmas and so um, I've had to be um, sensitive of course to their culture and belief systems but also uh, being also cautious about how I share the secular Christmas traditions in North America. Now my Asian students pr pretty much from China and Korea and Japan they are very interested in Christmas and our traditions and so with them um, I will use a reward system, the Christmas tree reward system, which is in that video. But this year, what I've done, now all of my props, if you've watched any of my videos, <clears throat> come pretty much from the dollar store, store tree. It didn't come with any of this. I had this felt. I uh, used the command strips, or actually this is um, the hoop and loop tape, otherwise known as Velcro. Um, so that's a trademark there. So. Um, so I've added the um, <clears throat> buttons here and I'm planning to add more to kind of bling it up to add it be more festive for some of my students because some of my children in India are very curious about the Christmas tree and they have a lot of questions and I have shown them the Christmas trees that I have in my home and so uh, I'm trying to bling this one up a little bit more. Again, I just use the command strips back here to click that on. It's very easy to take off and on um, when I use it for my reward system. What I'm planning to do as we get closer to Christmas, I will also use this stocking. Now this stocking uh, was given to me probably from one of my students when I was a brick and mortar teacher and they filled it with good things from ba uh, Bath and Body Works one of my favorite stores and so uh, I just saved it and I'm thinking about maybe putting my name on here what do you think please comment below what should I do to bling this up I would love your suggestions but in the meantime what I'm planning to do is as we get closer to Christmas maybe put some candy canes uh, fruit uh, candies in here just to kind of share uh, the Christmas stocking why we hang them by the fireplace with care what's typically in some of them 
and uh, when we open them. So again, a lot of my students are very curious about that. Command strip, easy to hang up, and I can even rearrange these, and sometimes I do to kind of change it up a bit from day to day or even week to week. Um, but this year, as I stated, I have a lot of students from the Middle East, and my younger students love this Christmas tree reward system. I say, do you want to put a circle on the tree? I don't call it Christmas because if they're, especially if they're new, I don't want to be offensive to them. A lot of my uh, probably third and fourth grade students about that age have a lot of questions about Christmas, the secular part. Make sure that I stick with that. Um, and they want to know Santa Claus and an elf. What is an elf? And so I will show this to them. This is something that I purchased from Michaels. My mother purchased this for me from Michaels many years ago. And so I'm able to say an elf is someone who helps Santa make toys for children. Um, now, recently, uh, this past week, I've had the experience where my older students from the Middle East um, have the look of terror on their face <laughs> when I've talked about decorating the tree. They have adamantly said, we don't celebrate Christmas. We don't celebrate Christmas. And I say, that's okay. So I have another reward system that I'm using. It's an online spinner uh, where they can, um, it just has them to do various activities, whether it's going to look for a book or looking for something that a particular color to help them, uh, help them with their descriptions in their sentences. And so I have that readily available. Again, most of my students are very curious and their parents want them to know about other cultures, but I make sure that um, I'm very aware of each family's wishes and desires. But I also ask them about their culture and their customs. And so when I've done that, um, the students really open up and they understand that I'm not trying to tell that they have to do Christmas trees. Uh, we're just exchanging what every country does differently and being able to appreciate our differences and that we can still be friends even though we have differences in maybe beliefs or cultures or customs. And so that has been very exciting and my students who were really nervous about seeing all of this have really um, felt more comfortable and they understand how we're just exchanging ideas and um, so that I'm very interested in their culture and customs as well. And so they've been telling me about things that they do for their national holidays and other religious holidays as well. So you just have to be sensitive, know your students. Um, again, for those students that I have on a regular basis and had a lot of conversations with, uh, I know whether or not to use these reward systems or to even talk about them in class. For my newer students that are particularly from um, countries that I know don't celebrate Christmas, um, then I'm, I don't bring that up initially. Uh, many of them have asked, what's your hat? What is it? And so I will just share it and then I've kind of gauge uh, whether or not to go any further with that. So I've never had anyone become upset or a parent um, send me an ugly message or a message that they not like what I've done in a classroom. Just have to be sensitive. So that's what I did. Again, um, dollar store items. The whole point of teaching online is to make money. And if you're spending a lot of money on props and backdrops, then you are decreasing the amount that you're bringing home. The Dollar Tree has a lot of great props that you can use and command strips. You can put them on your wall and you can rearrange it. Uh, it makes it just for a fun experience. If you are not currently an online teacher, I hope that you will consider doing that. It's so much fun and if you have questions, I will leave my ESL email address in the description below as well as my referral codes to all three of my companies. That is one way that my companies reward teachers for referring people. 
is by giving them a little monetary incentive and so if you would use those referral codes I would greatly appreciate it and if you have any questions about online teaching maybe some experiences that you have had I've been teaching for four years now and uh, I've experience many things and I would love to be able to brainstorm or to help you through uh, maybe some challenges that you might be experiencing um, during your online teaching or in your online teaching class. So say, so thank you. I've been up since 4.30. So, so thank you. My tongue is getting twisted for um, listening and tuning in to my channel. I hope that you will click that like button to let me know that you've appreciated this content and so that I will know to record more videos about this subject. So until next time, happy teaching.